All right, we're on page 305. Read along with me. Using addition to solve equations. When an equation contains subtraction, solve by adding the same number to both sides. Addition property of equality. You can add the same number to both sides of an equation and the two sides will remain equal. Now, if you think this looks similar to what we did on the previous page, it does. The difference is, is that on the previous page, we had an um, we had a an addition equation where we subtracted, and here we have subtraction equations where we're going to add. So let's go to example two. I'll go ahead and leave this highlighted because this is our important sentence. Go ahead and cover this up, and I've got y, the equation is y minus 21 is equal to 18. And if you're thinking back to the previous page trying to figure out how to solve this right here, we're going to go up to our highlighted sentence. It says you can add the same number to both sides of an equation and the two sides will remain equal. So I want to remind you that we're trying to isolate this y. And I've got minus 21. Well, how do I get minus 21 uh, up to nothing? I would add 21. What's minus 21 plus 21? Well, it's, it's 0, which is the whole point. I'm trying to isolate the variable, so I would get y is equal to. Well, if you add 21 to one side of the equation, you have to add 21 to the other side of the equation. If I add 8 plus 1, I get 9. And 2 plus 1, I get 3. I get 39. And we're supposed to check. And how do I check this? Well, I take y out, and I put 39 here. And I just ask my state, myself if that statement is true. Is 39 minus 21 equal to 18. We'll find out. 9 minus 1 is 8, and 3 minus 2 is 1. I get 18, and that's what I was supposed to get is 18. So that statement is true, which is proof that that's the way to do it. So let's think about what we did before. This is what we did on the previous page. This is the, one of the problems we did on page 300. I think it was 4. Page 304, we have this problem. So I'm going to compare what we did just recently. On page 304, we had a plus 15 is equal to uh, 26. And what did we do? We subtracted 15 from both sides of the equation and we got a is equal to 11. Now what are we doing on page 305? We're comparing what we're doing to page 305. Well our equation on this page is a subtraction one. y minus 21 is equal to 18. So what are we doing on this one? So we're going to add 21. scrunched up that is so I'm going to leave a little bit of space. I'm going to make, move my 18 over a little bit. I'm going to add 21 and what do I get is I get y by itself and I get 39. So what's the difference here? Well on the previous page we had an addition uh, equation and we solved by subtracting and on this page we have a subtraction equation and we're solving by adding and that question comes up here in just a minute. Alright so let's move on. It says graph the solution on a number 9. We think that uh, y is equal to 39 so we just go to 39 and put a point. That's all we have to do. Really simple. And I just talked about this reflect number 4. Communicate mathematical ideas. How do you know whether to add on both sides or subtract on both sides when solving an equation? So if you have an addition equation, you would solve by subtracting. And if you have an, a subtraction equation, you solve by adding. You just do the opposite operation. Whatever the operation is, you solve by doing the opposite operation really pretty simple actually. So let's check out number five. Number five reads solve the equation h minus one half equals three fourths and then graph the solution on the number line. I'm going to solve this one right here. h minus one half is equal to three fourths. And we just said right here that if you have a subtract if you have a subtraction equation you solve by adding. What are we going to add? We're going to add one half 
minus one half plus one half just isolates that variable. Uh, negative one half plus positive one half is zero. So we get h equals. So I just need to add one half to this. And that's hard to do unless I make one half into, watch what I do, I double it. I make it into uh, two fourths. Because what do you have to have when you're adding? You need to have a common denominator. So what I did is I multiplied this by 2 to become 4, and I multiplied this by 2 to become 2. Now I have 3 halves plus 4 halves. That is a total of 5. Uh, it's, it's 3 fourths plus 2 fourths. It's a total of 5 fourths. So you, you multiply these to make common denominators. Then you just add your numerators. 3 plus 2 is 5. I get 5 fourths or 1 and 1 fourth. They're the same thing. 1 and 1 fourth might be the slightly better answer. So it's 5 fourths or 1 and 1 fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that and graph it. You can either get 5 fourths. I'm just, you know what, I'm not going to choose both answers. I'm just going to choose um, 1 and 1 fourth. That's all I'm going to write. I'm supposed to graph that. 1 and 1 fourth would be, well, it's going to be a little bit past 1. Well, actually, if you let's examine this real quick. We've got 1, 2, this is 1 and a half. One and a fourth would be actually exactly between one and one and a half would be right here. There's one and one fourth right there. Between one and one and one half. Okay, great job. You're done with page 305.